What is up, my Supreme Dogs? Luke Darnall back with another Supreme related content video, and today we have week 10 Nike collaborating with the beloved Supreme. Not a lot of branding, very disappointed, but hey man, I got my eye on that bucket, the five gallon bucket. No, I'm joking. I don't even know that's funky too. I don't know where I'd put the bucket to begin with and also how I'd even use it. But I love you guys very much. So grateful to have some time in the morning for work. My company can't get asphalt. Work for a black top company um, for another hour and a half. So I was able to just get this in real quick. Because um, y'all know I love my streetwear culture. Love the people involved in it. And uh, Supreme, of course. So without further ado, I love you guys very much. And let's go and get into it so we have right the rip this leak tight five gallon bucket that i just mentioned now this is just a funky cool um very you know unique item um obviously it's plain jane i mean what you see is what you get here you literally get a five gallon bucket a five gallon bucket i really don't think i'll get this one um I do have my eye on a couple other smaller items. We'll get to it. But yeah, I mean, if you want a bucket, there's your bucket. Next, we have the first of a uh, number of items from Nike Supreme Collab. Now, I do really like this gradient jacket, okay? Um, I, I like these, you know, where they have like these little uh, elastic strings, bungee strings where you can tighten on the bottom. I, I, you know, it's it's no secret that the street culture have always liked these. Um, you know, you can tighten them up, you can make them look baggy but tight. You know, you can kind of refine your look a little bit, and the look just slaps a lot of the times. Um, but uh, my favorite, like I just said, is this gradient. It is really beautiful, but the huge drawback to this whole collaboration is like initially when i look at this which is a big deal for all of us or most of us um it is for me is that i didn't even spot spot the supreme branding and like on this gradient one it's so like you know toned down here i don't think anyone would really notice um you know so it, it really looks mid and i hate using that word guys because I, I you know i'm kind of disrespecting this but like I said, I, I do really like this this piece of uh, clothing, but for a collaboration piece, they really should have thrown something somewhere on the back, um, make Supreme a little bit more more noticeable, um, put their 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 print on it, you know, a little a little you know more vibrant or more powerful, like make it known, right? Be bold with it. Um, so. I'm just disappointed in it because if that gradient one had, you know, a stronger Supreme branding marked on it, um, I'd have been all over it. Um, but it's a pass for me because of that, that fact alone. Um, same goes for these, um, except this. The branding gets better here. This is probably the best branded one on here because, I mean, it's a vest. You can't go that hard on a vest. Um, it's a smaller piece of, of clothing, article of clothing. But this blue denim one does go hard. It, you know, a lot of these go hard just to begin with. But branding-wise, definitely the blue first, then the black, then the white. You know, you can hardly see it. Yeah, maybe we got, yeah, we got the Supreme on the, uh, the uh, pull you know the zip pull um but other than that uh minimal you know very subtle branding which is fine but uh yeah this blue denim hard uh black hard as well but the white you know this cream that they got in many of these these pieces on this collaboration you can't hardly see you know the nike and you know it's i don't know i just that's definitely the last one for me personally Overall, I would have just liked it more ramped up in Supreme branding. Uh, and that is my biggest gripe. I'm not alone. I've seen it. A lot of people are skipping, depressed over it. I'm with y'all for sure. Hunted, hunted. Uh, so yeah, we get now the established screw neck. I do really, I've always enjoyed this um, font or like just the established um, pieces they've done. I know I have a t-shirt or two. Of this um, I don't need a crew y'all know I love my crews 
because my crew necks, you know, if I'm if I'm still working or I'm selling some sneakers or I'm just a busy day ahead of me. Um, I don't like anything back here because like I'm getting in and out of my truck. I'm moving around and this thing's just kind of getting my way because like, you know, I'm, I don't I'm not going to walk around with it up when I'm, you know, maybe even breaking a sweat. Y'all know if y'all know. Um, but yeah, I, I really like this. I, re I really like the the established Supreme, um, you know, brand here, Refont, their take. This has been around for years. Um, but yeah, I've always liked this, but again, it's just a skip for me. I don't need it, and that's, that's, that's my take on it. But some nice colors to choose from. I really like that navy or that blue. Next, we have these denim shorts. Surprisingly, well, it's probably not that surprising, but this is my favorite piece um from the collaboration um of supreme well my second sorry guys um because i i like the blue denim shorts with here but i was about to say these almost were my favorite guys my goodness i thought they had some supreme branding these don't even have any branding i thought i saw branding on these i don't see any bit of supreme on here i mean i'm sure this button maybe metal button but I mean how do you have a collaboration piece and you don't have any bit of supreme on it right y'all making me think I'm oh here it is I got it y'all no one's gonna know that I'm surprised I even found that I would have glanced over that a thousand times if I was in the work environment I'm at I'm just not built for that stuff I'm not you know micro visioned like that Man, that, that's, they should have, come on now, like put it across like here or right around here on the pouch or put it down here. I don't know where you want to put it, but right here, I had, that one took me a minute. Yeah, but I really like these, de I li really like these, these denim um, shorts, but Supreme, no branding y'all. I mean, y'all, uh <sighs> What can you say, right? But I really like those. When I first saw those, they just gave me some serious Nelly vibes. Y'all know Nelly vibes, 90s hip hop. Um, that's the era I really grew up in. One of my first CDs, uh, Country Grammar. But yeah, I really like those. But um, on to the next one. Again, I really like these. Um, because of the lack of those denim shorts, didn't have the Supreme branding, um, I think these are actually my favorite Nike collaboration piece personally um i really like those those vests the denim vest in particular but for me personally i really like these gradient ones because we actually have some fairly noticeable supreme settle branding and for pants this makes sense right so i think these pants slap um there's a chance i'll be going for these pants and large or if they got waist sizes 34 yeah i know i'm on my peloton y'all i'll be shaving but i think i'm staying at 34 but i really like this gradient um but you know it just depends like at least we can see the supreme branding on all three pieces here right or colorways um so but the gradient love it you got the drawstrings on the bottoms you know it's just i really like these um so there's a chance that i'll be going for that gradient pair um i'd probably go i don't know that's a tough one that's a tough one but i'm just happy we can see some supreme branding you know quite quite quickly but i, I like these the best for sure um my my favorite piece because we can actually see the supreme pretty quickly i mean obviously we look at the, the colors we see the nike swoosh and then we boom we see the supreme right there milliseconds after or seconds after that's my favorite supreme piece these um i like these too but again um y'all see i'm rocking my cross bogo um i just there's a lot to choose from with hoodies i just got my future my futura you know beautiful color purple hoodie these are these are cool these are cool um i don't like how you can hardly even see i don't even count it the supreme on the i letter i here on this on this heather gray because the heather gray is i think the 
like was the best until like okay the, i can't even see the branding though so then it's like well then the olive maybe but like again how often you wear like i don't know because like, i see this as gym wear guys right but to each his own but the olive i don't know it, i just my my eyes just wanted the uh the the heather gray right off the bat like this fight pink you can't even see the branding not even on the hood terrible um this one see look they had it black here why didn't they just keep it black right there like bruh they'll do something um like this olive looks the best when it comes to the branding ends of things but they just didn't execute it um i mean the black looks good too you can see it but like i don't know it comes off too strong and bold like it ain't chill right but if you want black and bold go for it bruh i mean it goes with everything of course if you ain't a bold individual you can make it chill right so i'm not saying your articles define you bruh but uh yeah then same goes for these i mean like i said when it comes to sweats like i've always liked the the heather gray well like for the colors they like that red swoosh i mean it just looks so much more pleasant with that heather gray but i really wish we could have seen this supreme branding right here you literally can't see this guys i hope you guys can see my cursor um because it's just like i can't get over it because that would have been a possibility for me to grab but i just i can't see it so but i'm i I've shared enough opinion on this collab. <laughs> Again, I'm hating on the collab part. I'm not hating on the articles of clothing kind of thing. You know what I'm saying? If Nike dropped them alone, it would have been a cheaper price. Um, and I would have liked probably just the gradient. You know, that's, that's the vibe. That's the 90s vibe. And then they hit us with these these uh, puffer vests and the, the shorts to match. Just 90s vibes across the board here. And then some sweats, getting up early, getting your workout in. Um, so, yeah. And then uh, we got these Dazzle Crushers. We haven't even gotten to the ones I want yet. Um, I don't really have much of an opinion on these. I think the, like, the logo and everything will slap the hardest on, obviously, this black. But I like the blue. So, my two favorites, black and blue. Probably, personally, blue for sure. But, again, I don't know... I mean, red with this uh, type of material looks pretty, you know, romantic and, um, you know, classy um, if dressed up. So, it just depends. I don't really have much to share on that one. But, uh, yeah, they're cool. I mean, and we can actually visibly see Supreme. So, I'm cool with it a little bit more. Um, next. All right. So, this is looking like a hat week for me, y'all. Um, I really like these. Uh, Terry Mesh back six panels. Um, so, I think we'll be able to snap. Yeah, it's a snapback. Um, so, easily adjustable. I'm hoping they fit my head, you know. You never know until you get it. But I really like the black and I really like the blue. Um, the color of this green kind of throws me off a little bit. But, it, it is very cool. Um it almost reminds me of literally like uh the green you know on a golf course like when you're putting on a on like a, just a really well maintained golf course that's that green that 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 really strikes me as like that's some golf green right there um but i really like this black one i'll probably go for the black one um because i don't have a black supreme head that i really like wearing so i'm hoping this one fits well I might double cart and get or see if I can get the black and the blue because um, I really like that blue too, just that shade of blue. Um, so yeah, I think black, blue, and then the green, and then the white's last for sure. I don't even like that white one. Um, and then also, I'm pretty hyped for this bleached, what is that, chi Chino or Chino? Yeah, Chino, Chino, I don't know, uh, camp cap. Y'all know I love my camp caps and I love my core purple. This looks pretty damn close to core purple. Um, it'll do the job. So I'm really wanting um, the, the core purple bleached camp cap here. Uh, in terms of what I think on the other ones, this black and this bluish turquoise, dark turquoise, whatever it is, they, they kind of give me ghostly vibes, like Halloween vibes. 
Um, but yeah, that court purple really slaps and I don't even know how to make of this more vibrant colored one. This reddish, orangish, uh, that's definitely bleached. Uh, but yeah, I really like that core purple. So I'm gonna try to nab that too. It's another hat week for me. Um, so I will be doing a hat review. I'm not getting these hats for the sake of a review, but um, I was just disappointed with the Nike collab. I know I'm not alone on that. I don't say that out of hate. I'm saying that as just genuine um, response, to, you know, in review of the drop list. Now we got some shorts. Um, these go. These are fire. I really like the black with the yellow. Um, that's probably my favorite. Uh, well, I, I like this one too. So I'd probably go with the black first and then this brown. Because obviously everyone's still loving the brown. But I'm just giving my take on these. I ain't going to go for them. Um, but yeah, I like the black probably the best. 100%. So they're cool. Um, I don't know if I've taken a close look at these. The Nike Mesh. Is there any branding on these? Do we have a back? Yeah, we can't even see. There's probably, I don't even know if there's any branding on there. Maybe very, like, subtle. There's got to be something super subtle, like maybe on the back bottom or something. Or not at all. That wouldn't surprise me, huh? Um, I do like these moleskin six panels. I really like the colors they chose here. I really like this blue one with this like super light yellowed font color on this cursive. I think it's really elegant. I think it's it's pretty OG. Um, I really like the black one too. But it's crazy because you know they they gave us a lot of hats this week. And um, so when I saw these too, I was like, dang, because I really like this red one too. Like because y'all know my last video, I just I had that Stone Island supreme shirt on red and white and you know that's obviously fresh off out of wearing that i was like dang that would that'd be you know if i really want a full fit and be loud as hell if i'm feeling myself that day i could nab it um but again it's a matter of uh picking and choosing at this point and i, I got my eye on a couple other hats this one i'm good on it um it's, it kind of looks pretty similar, except for the flan across the Supreme um, to the uh, established crew neck. Kind of like how the placements are over here. But, yeah, overall, guys, I mean, if you want a five-gallon bucket just for funsies, uh, there you go. But I'm interested in that camp cap bleached uh, core purple uh, colorway. I think that's fire. Um, and then I'm also interested in that. It's almost like a trucker looking hat, but that Terry mesh, um, six panel. Uh, so those two are going to be kind of my bread and butter. And then we'll see about the pants, um, the, uh, the gradient pants, the track pants. I think they are, aren't they track pants? Yeah, they're track pants. So we'll see, but, uh, let me know you know if it's a skip week for you guys or if you guys are going for some hats or you guys are actually gonna be trying to pick up some nike supreme you know merch uh because yeah it is is it is a collab we probably won't see this stuff ever again you know so i'm not trying to discourage you i just i wanted more supreme you know from the collab and really we just got mainly 90 95 percent nike right we would have liked to see it more balanced um but yeah that's what i'm wanting bleached core purple camp cap um the track pants we'll see in that gradient size large or 34 if they got the waist i know i'm on my grind with my peloton bike um and then that terry mesh in the blue and the black possibly so it might be kind of a hard like me going hard kind of live cop um i'm hoping i can do live cop uh, again i'm working full time slash overtime now so i'm really hoping i can um so we'll see but yeah best of luck to you guys love you guys dearly um yeah love the support man love uh the connection this is a good thing for me uh so i'll keep doing it when i can so good luck again and until next supreme video see you dudes